Most folks around here know how to handle an alligator, but we don't take chances where kids are concerned. Can you go take a look? If this gator did show up with the flood water, it's bound to be confused. Keep your wits about you. Gators are lazy sons of guns at the best of times. I don't get why it... Someone was on its trail. A catch pole? They were serious about this. It takes a lot to rip that snare. This thing must have been pissed. And we're dealing with some total amateurs. Gator guys, this ain't. In and out. So it got out, wandered over to Jonesville, or someone followed it, and then it went right back the way it came, with its would-be captors in hot pursuit. But Betty called us here first, right? How'd these folks get here before us? Hey, Mrs. Tackett. My counselor's here at Jonesville. Happy to report that our reptilian friend has made its way back to the bayou, but not without a fight. Did you call someone else in here first? Why, no, Miss Davis. Can't say I did. What happened? Well, there's a broken catch pole and some tape. Someone clearly had some fun. Wouldn't surprise me if some yokel had got it into himself to make it into tomorrow's papers. You know Delta folk. Bless their hearts. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, you can call up the residence group, let them know it's safe to come back. Thanks for the hard work, y'all. Bye bye Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Someone's pissing off alligators that are probably already pretty out of it after the flooding. And I want to make sure you know how to handle them, just in case. Call me paranoid, but it wouldn't surprise me if there's a connection between all of this weirdness. They don't say half hills, half delta all crazy for nothing. And that's not just me being an uppity Yankee. You heard, Betty. Folks here are quite something. Let's get some gator hunting practice in, then we'll take stock of things. <laughs> 